Hey guys, so today I've got a new State of Jailbreak video. Um, so of course I just did one of these the other day, and in that video I was I said that you know that would probably be outdated very quick. Um, I was joking. I didn't actually think it would be outdated in two days. But guys, yesterday Apple announced a new firmware, and then today they've announced more new firmware. So guys, I'm gonna walk you through what's going on with the whole jailbreak situation because um, again it's getting more and more complicated. Um, first of all, and hopefully I, you guys are watching this video before you've even noticed it, 4.0.1 is now out for the iPhone. Not for the iPod Touch, just for the iPhone. So guys, this is a really, really simple update. Basically, of course, with the iPhone, you have the, uh, the signal bars. Well, basically, the signal bars are now taller, and they're going to be you know, better at showing your signal. And yeah, guys, it's not going to help you. If you download it, it's not going to help you get better reception. It will just look like you're getting better reception. Or it'll look, it'll, it should just be more accurate. Um, guys, of course, this is standard. Do, if you're planning on jailbreaking, do not update at all. Um, it does seem like this is a very, very minor update for the iPhone. It is not for the iPod Touch, obviously. Um, so it looks like it's going to be a minor update. So guys, trust me, just stay off of it. It's not going to help you anything. If you really have to do it, it looks like it will be jailbreakable here in the next, uh, you know, really recent time. But of course, guys, just stay away from it for the, just the moment. Um, so guys, there's another thing, and for the iPad, you know, this is a little bit more serious. 3.2.1 is now out for the iPad. Uh, now, this w update fixes a couple things for the iPad. It fixes the Wi-Fi issues, which I know a lot of you guys are having, um, a few and a few minor bugs and stuff. But one of the most important things is that it now patches the Spirit jailbreak. So you can no longer use Spirit on 3.2.1 on the iPad. Guys, that's not good news. Um, you know, of course, it's really, you know, there's really not a whole lot. I mean, Spirit's fantastic for jailbreaking, but now it's pretty much totally outdated. So guys, Please stay away from 3.2.1 on the iPad. There's no, there's no, um, there's no time frame or anything. We have no idea when an update for Spirit or some other jailbreak will be out for the iPad. So guys, just hang, hang tight. Do not update your iPads if you plan on being jailbroken. And if you do, just know that it could be a while before there's a new jailbreak for you. Lastly, guys, and I touched a little bit about this in my last video, but 4.1 is also out. So yeah, guys, Apple has been very busy. Um, 4.1 for the iPhone and iPod, both the beta is now out. Um, this is only for registered developers only, and guys, it looks like this will be a pretty substantial update. Um, for the first beta, it doesn't seem like there's going to be a whole lot, but Apple is promising that they're going to add a lot more new things. Um, so guys, this one actually is pretty simple to jailbreak. Uh, you, can, you can go ahead and just use Red Snow, um, the same Red Snow jailbreak that uh, many of us have been using already. That will already jailbreak 4.1. But guys, I wouldn't be surprised if they update it or, you know, update the, maybe the baseband or something. So guys, just be really careful. Obviously, it's in a beta, so 90% of you guys aren't going to be able to get it on the, anyway. But guys, just, you know, stay away from 4.1 as always. And just in general, guys, of course, do not update to any firmware if you're jailbroken because you will lose your jailbreak always. Um, you may or may not be able to jailbreak after the fact, but it's always a good idea to, you know, do your research, do, see what Apple's patched, all that kind of stuff. So guys, hopefully, you know, it got you all filled in. Now, this should be the last update for a little while. Um, of course, Apple's been really busy the past couple days. But yeah, guys, as always, if you have any questions, any comments about whether something will or won't work, just leave them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.